Hello friends, no snappy <laughs> intro today. I wasn't even planning on making a video about this, but I feel like it is needed or rather like I I just, I need to. So this isn't gonna be edited much. I'm gonna, you know, take out the dead air, things like that, but I'm just gonna wing it in a way because I really just feel like I need to talk about what's going on with Gabby Hanna and not in a way of like, I want to give my opinion, but I don't know. I just, I feel like I need to talk about it. So if you're not aware, Gabby Hanna is a content creator who has been on social media for forever, for a very long time. And she got her start on Vine, musically, one one of, one of those, and then, you know, started doing vlogs and music and other types of uh, videos on YouTube and I'd say she was pretty popular I want to say like five-ish years ago and you know had drama here and there uh, recently it seems like it's just been I don't want to say actually recently but I feel like in the last two years it's just been one thing after another after another with her and you know not taking necessarily accountability for her actions and you can I'm not going to go over all of that you can literally go look it up on YouTube there's a bunch of videos about it just way too many honestly as I'm literally making one more video about her that's different that's drama right yes some drama is more serious than other situations but what's happening right now with Gabby Hanna it's not drama okay it's it is scary. So I'm going to give you just like a quick rundown of what has happened and then go over some of the things that she has said in her over like what 300 TikToks that she's posted in the last um, two to two and a half days. I wasn't even going to watch her TikToks but then I just decided to and that's really what is pushing me to make this video because I was so uncomfortable. I started like crying a few times. It was just really awful to watch. You know, I thought it was going to be, you know, maybe her saying something like scandalous or like something, you know, distasteful here or there. And I'm just going to say this now. I don't think she's acting. She's not that good of an actress, okay? I, do, I don't think, I do not think she's acting and it is so sad and so scary and it's just all playing out in front of us, right? And now Gabby has said multiple times over the last few years that she has, you know, had manic behavior or manic episodes previously or she struggles with ADHD, things like that. I as well, you know, I, I am diagnosed with that. You know, I have experienced some spiraling as I call it. I don't necessarily, I think that that's what this is. I think it's, you know, maybe that, but on a, to a completely different degree. So after watching her TikToks, I just, I was like, oh my God, I need to make a video. I'm not going to play those for you. You can go watch them. They're all up. It's, I suggest that you don't because it's very triggering and it's very sad and it's it's scary. But like I said, over the past two days, she has nonstop, basically, except for like sleeping for four hours here or there, she's posted over 300 TikToks. It's Thursday, August 25th, uh, about 6 p.m. Eastern right now. And in the last five hours, she's posted over 30. And she's also said that authorities have done at least two wellness checks on her so far, like poss possibly three. The thing is, is that Gabby over the years has proved herself to not be a very reliable narrator. And I don't want to be, I don't want that to be taken as like, oh, you know, the girl who cried wolf. No, it's just, she's not a very reliable narrator, especially it's with what's happening to her right now. So she has posted a, a lot, a lot, and we'll go over in a second, like kind of the, just a little rundown that I wrote down of like things that she said in a lot of these TikToks so that you can get an idea. Because again, at first I, I thought she was just saying, you know, kind of like not kosher, like distasteful things, but the things she's saying are extremely concerning. And then also yesterday, I believe it was, this random guy, I guess that's a fan of her, showed up at her house, knocked on her door and like videotaped it all and... He even posted the video of him going up to her door and, you know, knocking on it and asking if he could use her restroom. She let him right on in and, you know, let him use the restroom. And then I guess they were going to go on like a run together. And he documented it all basically and is saying like, no, I was trying to, you know, I wanted to help her. And of course, we don't know if that's like super trustworthy, but he was saying he wanted to help her and you know, he went in, he was invited in, and then once she yelled at him to leave, he left, but he was in these TikToks with her, you know, in the background, or, you know, she was, like, talking to him, hugging him, you know, they prayed together, he was trying to get her to drink water, trying to get her to eat something, 
he claims that he's had people in his life that have previously gone through episodes like this and that he just wanted to be able to like get her to break it in one of the videos he's like going through like he's in her kitchen and he like sees a pill bottle i guess and picks it up and he's like what is this and she's like that's like my Accutane or something like something for acne i don't know not like psych meds or anything like that it was just like like Accutane or something like that then she even says you lied to me you said that you didn't know who I am but you do know who I am and then she screams at him to get out of his house get out of her house and then he does he leaves and now I guess people are you know doxing you know him his girlfriend his family his parents whatever harassing him you know threatening him and do I think he crossed the line yes do I think that what he did was legal no because he was invited in and then he he, he left allegedly left when when he was screamed at or told to leave basically also i wasn't there so i don't know but if all of that is true let's say hypothetically that it is then it's not illegal what he did did he cross a boundary of course is it unethical yes but i do think that was very dangerous for for him to do um now after that she like stopped posting for a little bit and i don't know if she was sleeping or doing whatever but she claims that, uh, you know, a bunch of, you know, authorities, uh, law enforcement officers broke into her house, you know, cuffed her, uh, detained her. She kept saying that they, she said in multiple things that like she was being arrested, but she was just being detained. There's a clear difference. And she said that this is because she was exercising her right to freedom of speech and freedom of religion. And then also she claimed that uh, two psych eval specialists we're trying to drag her off to a hospital, but that she's too smart, too brave, and something along those lines, um, and then that she didn't get, you know, taken to the hospital. Now, when it comes to these wellness checks, there's only so much they can do. They literally, if, if they knock on the door and you're like, no, I'm fine, it can't, like, really go further than that. I mean, they're going to ask you, are you going to hurt yourself? Like, they'll ask you questions, of course. You know, are you going to hurt yourself? Are you a danger to yourself or to others? Whatever. That's how they're able to Baker Act someone. That's how they're able to, you know, put you in, in a hospital without your consent, permission, whatever, because you are a danger to yourself or others. That's the only way they can Baker Act you, and it's actually pretty hard to do, to do that, especially if the person, you know, is saying, no, I'm fine, or they can even say, you know, the most wild things, like all the stuff that she has said, and even say it to their faces, but if she is not posing a threat to herself or others, then there's nothing they can do. I wrote down a list just in case, you know, y'all don't want to watch those TikToks. I don't blame you. I kind of regret doing it myself. It took me about like an hour and a half to get through all of them. It was, it was very uncomfortable. I don't suggest that you, that you um, watch them. But a few things that she claimed, she said that she's the second coming of Christ, that she created hell, uh, that she's dedicating her life to saving humanity. She was referencing people like uh, Matt Mason, Candace Owens, Bo Burnham, Jenna Marbles, Machine Gun Kelly, Dolly Parton, Einstein, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, uh, Billy Eilish. And then she also said that you'll only have an easy pregnancy if you take care of your body and that if you know God and that giving birth is supposed to be orgasmic. Um, she said that she teleported to heaven through a tantrum and then is back here to save us. She's saying that um, it's a battle of the sexes, that people aren't transgender, and that kids aren't transgender, saying that God, her father, gave her permission to say all of this and to share all of this, and that everything that you're seeing on any other social media is a lie, saying that uh, DID, dissociative identity disorder, um, isn't real, and that if people have it, it's because they don't believe in God and they haven't asked God to only show them one reality, uh, that Jesus Christ is her brother, that God was removing the sound from her TikToks, uh, that license plates are codes. When she was a kid, she had a knife held to her throat and that God saved her because she prayed about it, uh, that she's performing rituals and that she's saving babies, that mania or manic episodes wake up your genius, that Big Farm is out to get us, that she's the healthiest person on the planet, healthiest woman on the planet, the smartest woman on the planet, uh, that heaven's like a fairy tale and that planes flying over her house our God. Really my like point in making this video, which you might be like, Chelsea, what is the point? Like you're not showing receipts. Like you're, you know, big on showing receipts. I don't want to, I, I'm just not comfortable doing that. I'm, you know, putting, putting that in a video. Like I said, I, I don't suggest that you go watch those videos, but sure, go for it. I'm not your dad. I can't tell you what to do. And if you want to go watch them, but my point in this is just 
like, I guess asking everyone to be kind to her and not, you know, make jokes about it. And I don't want to, like, tell you to go real world and tell you to, you know, contact her family, but where are her family and friends? Where are they? I mean, I, I think it speaks volumes that, yeah, sure, that Nick guy, I mean, that was pretty weird and, like, messed up that he did that. But why was he the only person to go check on her other than authorities? Like, wh where, where are her... Where are her family? And I understand she's said before that they are, and others have said that they are across the country. They're not in LA. They're not even in the state. They're on, like I said, the other side of the country. So yeah, it's going to take them longer than maybe two days to get out to her. What she, what she's doing right now, it, it's, to me, does look, I'm not a professional. I have seen this before many times though, uh, but it definitely does look like she is having a psychotic episode and it's so uncomfortable and just so upsetting. Um, when that's happening, people in that state, again, I'm not a professional, this is just my opinion, um, but people in that state don't know that they, that that's happening to them. So they're just going to say they're fine. They don't, like, they have n no idea that they're in that type of state. I'm not acting like I'm an expert. I just want to say, I understand we all deal with things differently. And sure, I mean, I... <laughs> I, I deal with things with humor for sure. I mean, things in my life, but this this is a public figure and this is, you know, unfolding before our eyes. And I just ask my audience, or if you're watching this video, technically you're in my audience, but my subscribers, you know, my, my people, please just be kind, you know, don't egg someone on. And that, I, don't e I don't even know. It's just, it's so sad. And I really hope that her family gets it together and gets to her as soon as possible and gets her the help that she needs because clearly, clearly she needs help because this is very scary. There has been some discourse on Reddit, on TikTok, on YouTube, in a lot of places that have said things like, oh, well, maybe she's coming out with a new book, you know, a new book of poetry, or maybe, you know, she's releasing an album, or maybe this is, you know, something to hype up something she's doing, or maybe just for attention. Again, I don't think that Gabby Hanna is that good of an actress. If you don't believe me, go look at the TikToks. Because yeah, at first I thought that too. Someone had mentioned that and I was like, okay, like Abby Hanna is just playing something up to get views to, you know, keep herself relevant. But that's not what this is. And like I said, prior to watching her hundreds and hundreds, not exaggerating, that she's posted over the last three days, I even thought I was like, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna give her my time. I'm not gonna make a video about it. But then after watching them, I was like, oh dear God, like I, I'm feeling very compelled I'm feeling very compelled to make a video about this and just to try to urge people and plea with people to be kind. Please be nice. Please do like, I know it's, you know, cliche or corny or whatever to just say, put yourself in her shoes, but please do. Something else that I've seen is the argument of she still needs to be held accountable for what she's saying. Listen, I am all about that. Y'all know, even when someone is brainwashed and in a cult, I mean, they still need to be, if you watch my videos, that's, you know, what I talk about. They still need to be held accountable, you know, even if you're brainwashed, even if you're being manipulated into doing something and, you know, you are manipulating and you are therefore manipulating other people, you still need to be held accountable for your actions and for, you know, what you say. This is different though. And yes, of course, you know, she needs to be held accountable, but it's also like she's not in her right mind. So I think that's really important to understand and to remember that, you know, this is someone who, in my opinion, and you can let me know your opinion too, but in my opinion, is clearly struggling. She's not in her right mind. And I, I don't know what triggered this. I mean, it seems, to me at least, it seems like it just came out of nowhere. I mean, of course, nothing comes out of nowhere. But I, I mean, it seems like just the other day, you know, she was, you know, saying that she was vlogging every day and trying to win a competition or something to be able to do something with her music, you know, get us time slot with a concert I don't know so I don't know what happened to trigger all of all of this all this behavior and this type of episode but it is again so upsetting and so sad and yes it's okay to you know have an opinion on something and you know commentary on something I mean hell I'm making a video about it but it's really important to be kind and do better and know better and I guess pray for her or hope that you know this I hope that she's able to get help. I mean, if I don't know if she has like siblings that are on social media, uh, you know, if if they have, you know, public accounts or something just to, I guess, reach out to them. I don't, I, I, I sound, 
I hate them even saying that because I am a big, you know, advocate for not taking things real life, but those are the only people that can help her right now are her friends and her family. But it's not like she doesn't have any friends in California or in LA. Like, she has friends. So, I don't know. Maybe she doesn't. I don't... Honestly, I, I just wanted to, you know, give my two cents and plead with people to be nice and be kind and, I guess, plead with her family. I don't, I don't even know really what I'm trying to say with this video. It just... Just watching those videos broke my heart. All right, y'all. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this, honestly. It's just so sad. <sighs> but let me know what what you think, I guess. I feel gross even saying that. Like, comment down below. But I, I don't know. It's just, it's really upsetting. And I'm probably, I'm not going to edit this video, like, much. I'm, again, like I said, just going to take out the dead air and, like, the ums and stuff like that and, like, the beginning and end. And th there's a lot of commentary channels who are making videos about this. A lot of them that won't even touch it, which I understand. But it's all about how you um, approach the situation. And then, I mean, then I think it's fine to, to post the video on it. Peter Mon did an amazing video on it. I really liked his takes. And and then Sloan did, uh, did a good video on it, too. So feel free to go watch theirs as well. And... I'm just praying that she gets help and that she's going to be okay. And listen, I'm, I'm not, I might not like her, her past actions, her music, her poetry, just really almost anything about her, honestly. But I would never want anyone to go through this and go through it publicly. Ugh. I just, just imagine your worst day or three, your worst week at this point. I mean, hell, it's been almost over three days now at this point. But imagine the worst week of your life, like, mental state wise amplify that by a lot and imagine that you are that like millions of people are watching you and having an opinion on it that's terrifying so again please be kind please be aware of what you're saying don't want to say you know to take things real life um i think that her family needs to talk to her needs to help her needs to get her help oh yikes okay be nice to each other and take care of each other bye